Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jonathan from VFX Shorts here, going to be going through another tutorial with After Effects. Um, many professional films, they will have their dolly to create very smooth shots, but dollies can tend to be expensive and you can make your own dolly for around 100 bucks, but still, it's simpler, especially if you're just doing a little short film, to use this effect in After Effects that you can use in order to kind of uh, make a fake a dolly but it looks really good so here we go I'm gonna drag this clip in into my project here little project and then here we go and then no I don't let's see is it that one it's this one right here so I'm gonna drag this one right into my timeline here and it's just a view of my desk and I will just you know go through that like scrub through that kind of and as you can see here it hasn't rendered completely so it's playing pretty slow but you can still tell at all the uh, jittery of it if you guys want to see how it is completely I'll just play it from here And then you guys can see how bad how bad that camera shake is. And sometimes camera shake is a good thing; it adds realism to it. But that's not what we're looking for. We want a clean, nice pan across this desk. So all you have to do, very simple. We're gonna go to our effects and presets, or you can also right-click on it and go to it. I'm gonna go type it in. But well, you have distort here. We're gonna want warp stabilizer, and we'll add that here, and it's gonna analyze in the background. And it, instead of, you can also go to distort, and then at the bottom you have warp stabilizer. So it'll just analyze, and then once it's done analyzing, you guys will see how how much of a great tool this is, especially if you're on set, you wanna you don't have space for a dolly but you want a cool dolly effect and you weren't planning on it but you improvised and you want it to look nice this effect will make it look very very professional and that's what we're here about we want to make our films look as professional as possible yeah so I will cut to the end of this and um, or to the end of one sun playing and I will show you guys how it looks Okay, so we're back. The whole process only took about two minutes, and that, I think, is worth it. Especially if you don't want to spend $100 to make your own dolly, or you just want to spend a few hundred dollars to have your own professional dolly. And I think for the indie filmmaker, for the aspiring filmmaker, this is pretty good. So here, we're going to scrub through it, and you guys will see what I mean. Even when you saw it before, you could see that the action was very shaky, even though it wasn't completely rendered. And even like this, you see how effective this can be. And then, see? Now, look at that. I think After Effects has many things that are not designed for its a purpose like this, but it works perfectly to have this dolly effect, in especially. So that's all for this one, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe for more tutorials. I'm working on an iMovie tutorial right now, and then I'm working on a tutorial I know a lot of people like, and I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek here. Uh, voila! A little bit of a nice little tutorial, and uh, I'll work on that coming up soon so subscribe for that subscribe for a tutorial I'm gonna having in uh, iMovie that should probably be next and then I'll have this uh, this uh, other After Effects tutorial so thank you guys for watching uh, hope you guys have a good day and as always I will see you guys next time